This is the Catholic Daily Journal for Sunday, June the 23rd, 2019. It's the feast of Blessed Marie de Onyez, born in 1177 AD in Belgium. She was known as a Beguin religious, meaning that she lived a religious life with a rule, but without a specific community. She had a few standout identifiers. For one, she dressed up in all white, she ate no meat, For another, she had a lot of mystical events in her life, and she would weep uncontrollably while meditating on the passion of Jesus. Marie was a lot of things, but she was not easy to put into one category. She was serious about penance, but she was also aware of her own temptations to take pride in that, so she made sure not to do penances that would be easily seen. With her clothes, she didn't like to have anything brand new, so she begged for used clothes, but she didn't want to wear anything too ratty either because she didn't want to draw attention to herself in that way. Marie died today in 1213 in Onier in France. Today is also St. John's Eve. It's the day before the feast of St. John the Baptist's birthday, a.k.a. the Nativity of St. John. John's birthday is celebrated opposite the birthday of Jesus. Both events are near their respective solstice. Jesus was born at the darkest time of the year, and Christians have always seen that as a symbolic moment where the light enters the world which is surrounded by darkness and it becomes a sign of hope. John's actual birthday is unknown, but he's long been celebrated opposite Jesus near the summer solstice because this is when the light is most prominent. It's traditional to light and bless bonfires on the Feast of St. John, but more about that tomorrow. Today is the birthday in 1912 of Sir Alan Turing. Born in London, England, he got his master's at Cambridge and his doctorate at Princeton in the U.S. He was a mathematician and a computer scientist. Computer science at that time was as much philosophy and math as it was anything else. The modern idea of writing a few hundred lines of code and voila, my program works, is really just that, modern. Turing was working with integrated circuits and logic gates. So the real trick was to take a real-world problem, like encoded messages being sent via radio between the Germans and the Italians, and translating that problem into a series of yes or no questions that the computer can answer very, very, very quickly, thousands of times per second. And that means understanding how the codes were made, how radio works, how encryption works, how language itself is translated from letters and numbers down into ones and zeros. It's crazy hard math. Turing took that understanding and managed to break the codes of the German Enigma machine. And if you know a little bit more math than you did in high school, you can grasp the basics of how he did it, and it's a wow thing to read about. Turing also managed to visualize some of the core issues of what we now call machine learning and artificial intelligence. The so-called Turing test has gained new fame in the modern world of computer science. It's really very hard to overstate how important Alan Turing was to computing. He died under a cloud of infamy due to his homosexuality. He accepted chemical castration in 1952 and died a few years later at a young age. Some claim it was suicide, but the facts of the case are unclear. Either way, it was a tragic end to a remarkable life. And finally today in 1713, the French residents of Acadia in Nova Scotia, Canada were given one year to declare their allegiance to Britain or to get out of Canada. Those who left settled all along the eastern coast of the United States, but most ended up in Louisiana, where their culture blended with the New Orleans French Creole, the indigenous American Indian, and the large German immigrant culture. They were called the Acadians by some, but in their own language, they pronounced their names Acadians. And over time, they just became the Louisiana French Cajuns. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. And until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.